Hey, it's Spence from LunchFlows.com. I was recently asked in the LunchFlows group about whether the checkout fields will remain uh, filled in with data from a user when they do an order bump or an upsell. The answer is absolutely yes. Now I'm going to show you in this demo how easy it is to work with LaunchFlows because it's a utility. And here I've got a free demo site set up with Cadence, Cadence Blocks, Cadence Starter Themes, which is an amazing way to combine with LaunchFlows into something that immediately gives satisfaction. But I'm going to show you how you can do a custom checkout with an order bump and how the fields are perpetual. And it doesn't require any fancy Ajax to break the checkout because we use a different method, lighter, faster, and more compatible with all the WooCommerce add-ons. So here I've got an example of a shop and we happen to have some pre-made backpacks and other stuff. Now, let's just say I wanna have an upsell on any checkout. So I'm gonna use this product as my, uh, actually not as an upsell, let's do it as an order bump. You can do it as an upsell, but on the checkout page, an order bump makes more sense, right? You're at the checkout, here's one more thing to add. Uh, you'll notice with launch flows, we've made it possible that this product will go to the default checkout. I can actually configure this so it goes to any number of custom checkout experiences if I wish, but if I don't set something up, it will automatically go to the default checkout. Here in the Launch Flows tab, you can see that I can choose from any number of different locations uh, if I were to type in the name of the page, etc. Okay. So in this case, I'll leave it as the default checkout that I had it. And next, what I need is the product ID because I want to add that to our order bump component. Here on the right side, I simply go to the Launch Flows checkout link and I see that the product ID is 516. I can also see that at the top if I want it. Now, let's go to our checkout page where I'm going to add this as a component. The checkout itself could be the default WooCommerce checkout, but here's an example of a free pattern that we've given that is so simple. LaunchFlows does not commit you to using one page build or another. You can use anything you want with our short codes, or you can just use a pattern and then pop it in place with copy paste. So for example, here's about 14 different checkout layouts. One of them is what I call the modern checkout. It's much like what WooCommerce is going to be doing soon by default. It's just a little more contemporary than what their normal IRS text form looks like. So if I want to use this, I just copy the pattern code and then I go to my checkout page. I edit it and when I paste it in, I essentially get the very same block layouts ready to go. Now, all I did here was I went to the top of that block and I said, insert before, and then I typed in the uh, information to add the order bump block. So I'll do this from scratch. I said, insert before, and I typed in bump, added the launch flows component, simply changed the ID to 516, because that's the product I want to offer. And I'm going to change the style of the box that accepts this from a round to a square, because when you're offering one item, you might want to have a radio button choice between this or that. Here, I'm just offering one thing. And that's all there is to it. I click update, and now I've got a custom checkout page that is servicing this and other products. And when somebody has already filled out the checkout form with their data and they add stuff, they'll be able to see their, their data still there. I want you to note that this also has an option in the um, uh, bump for uh, the description. I'm gonna hide that now simply because quite frankly, it's distracting to my purpose. And that's where these little short code parameters make it easy. When it says short code description, just change it from yes to no. And these short codes are universal because you can use them inside of your favorite page builder or you can use them with blocks. Um, and so let's go ahead and do the preview. And so now I've got my order bump. Now let's take a look at what happens if we go incognito with this and we start from scratch because this will keep all of the fields that a person has started to fill out, which means that if they go back and forth to your shop uh, getting other items, they'll still have the information that they started with. Okay, so let's pretend, for example, the person has added something into their cart, either via the shop or the order bump. Makes no difference. Uh, let's say they start to fill it out. So we've got, you know, Tom at Jones.com. This is Tom Jones. You'll notice that there's also the information about which fields they need to fill in. One, two, three, four, Main Street, Chicago, Illinois, 606, I don't know, 01. Uh, we can add an order note. Hi, thanks. Leave at back door and so forth. Now, let's say they get distracted. 
and they go back over to the shop and they wanted to add more things. I want to add the Arctic Blast. I forgot to do that the first time. When they come back to the checkout page, everything is still filled in, ready to purchase. And it's just that simple. LaunchFlows works natively with WooCommerce and there's already the components built in that allows somebody to return to shopping. Now, you notice there's a login that also shows up. If they have an email they're trying to use that is already an existing customer, they will be able to log in with that. It will tell them a notice, you already have an account. Likewise, if you use our marketing automation components, either directly in LaunchFlows or with our partner plugins, things like Uncanny Automator, WP Fusion, Fluent CRM, you can actually track somebody's full behavior and do things like abandon cart. This is all done with the native WooCommerce components, and you'll notice that I'm using here this very lovely ready-to-go starter template setup with Cadence and Cadence blocks. So simply by adding launch flows into the mix, you get a complete ClickFunnels experience without having to spend $300 a month. You just buy the plugin one time or once a year, and WooCommerce does things that you never thought it was capable of doing. Really simple. It's worth noting, if I don't want to keep the order bump, I just uncheck the box and it's immediately removed. Scrolls me down to where I need to see the information to place order. Ta-da! Super simple. You can also use the other check here that's added by LaunchFlows, so you've got a nice combination on one checkout page of what you need. And if you're interested, we've got lots of videos showing how you can have any custom checkout experience you want for even individual products. This is Spence. I'll see you on the next video.